So we're gonna uh, end the night with a fantastic duo. Uh, this is two improvisers I love watching. They've been performing together in ensemble pieces since 2006. And now this will be their first time as a duo. So let's bring up to the stage Diana Brown and Dan Wilson in Binge Watch! Yay! It's a romantic comedy. A spy romantic comedy. <laughs> Alrighty, um, could we go ahead and have something? Let's go with the mysterious music for this. Yes. And welcome to the spy who shagged somebody else. <laughs> 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 oh, on this stakeout, I didn't expect to find you here. Well, I'm glad I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been watching you for a long time. Spies watching spies, watching other spies. Watching other people not knowing they're being watched by spies. <laughs> Sometimes they even dance. It's disturbing to watch that. It's rather unnatural. Look. You should know that even though we're different agencies, you're FBI, I'm CIA. I think we could do a joint action together. That sounds dirty. It should. Talking. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm a spy. I don't get out much. I stay in. Peer through my blinds. <laughs> Technically, I've been on suspension. I had to turn in my gun, my badge, my binoculars. So I'm relegated to hearing through my blind. <laughs> that makes you perfect. You're off the grid. Come join me with the agency. We can work together. <laughs> you have skills I've never seen before because they don't train us that way. Hey, my mama gave me these skills. <laughs> and God bless America for it. <laughs> Our show? The woman with the blinds is not doing the thing with the blinds anymore. Well, you quit watching the neighbors all the time. The neighbors are watching me. I watch the neighbors watch me. It's a symbiotic thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since you watched that Rear Window movie on American Movie Channel, you've been obsessed with peering through the windshield and all oh, the windows and <laughs> whatever this glass, you're always peering through. <laughs> Stop yammering and give me the Windex. <laughs> really? You break one leg, and then suddenly, you could do all the chores. Sure, why not? Partial, get that thing. Partial, get that thing. I asked you to get me. What did I ask you to get me? God, my mind is going. Fuck. Oops. Inside voice, outside voice. Inside voice, outside voice. Fuck is an inside. Oh, never mind. Give me the fucking Windex. Why don't you just come to bed? We can do that thing we haven't done in years. <laughs> it's not just one leg that's broken. <laughs> Someone's gonna catch one of these days, they're gonna call the police. Like the real police. Give me your rendition. 
Oh, it's about time. Pull the arms out. Oh, Rit, that's nice. That's you just you're gonna use it as a rag. I did use it as a rag. Now I can see the neighbors. Seeing me see them. <laughs> but she's not there. The little peering girl with the blinds is gone. Look at me for once. <laughs> Maybe if you were on the other side of the class, I'd have more interest. Something about not by quite being able to touch, but being so close. <laughs> Keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> so it's something about not being able to touch, but being so close. Oh, I can show you things. 
things. I can show you things even without this thing here, but the transmitter has to go in the bag of that Fox News correspondent, the one with the hair up to here and the boobs out to there. No, not a little bit. She's on at 7 p.m. Ah, got it. <laughs> Fine. Can you get that in there? No, well, I was counting on you getting it in there. After all, nothing like a ginger to get a Fox News correspondent hot and heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll monitor the whole thing, right? You'll know what's going on? Just don't. Kisser. <laughs> if I do, it won't be consensual. <laughs> Cabinet mission of the GOP. 
<laughs> that means they're gay. <laughs> I always found that kind of charming that they use the word log in their title. Because they're strong, but they have dirty minds. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know how I felt about you, but, but I can see you're a busy, busy person. Wait a minute, no. What I to do here. Hold on. If I can turn you straight. Oh boy. <laughs> Life. I could go all the way to covering the Washington Bureau or. <laughs> all you need is a good southern woman to lay you down by the river. <laughs> Read to you the words of the Bible written in red. <laughs> and to take you and your man fruit up to heaven. <laughs> to be blessed by God's own healing abilities to cure the sick, the weak. And the poor, slightly homosexual. Oh. Don't you have a convention to cover? Other things you need to worry about at this particular moment? Anything at all? <laughs> just really, just help your mind. Anything at all? Well, I oh, do you want to go? Anything? Oh yes, I did want to catch that little bugger. <laughs> Where's my purse? No, no, no. <laughs> Where the hell is my handbag? Oh, it's it's hanging. It's it's a twist behind your back a little bit. Oh, it's so much part of me now. Oh. <laughs> no, no need to look in there. Everything's... I caught him. Oh, I don't know what the hell that is. It looks like my husband, but I'm going to catch him. Come on. You're worthless. Wait a minute, sugar. We haven't consummated our love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a politician. Anyone will do. Well, I'm a... Uh, Technically a politician. Really? Are you somebody that I could, I could work for to, to make the world a better place for the cranky and depressed? <laughs> well, I'm cranky when I don't get enough potassium. And I'm depressed because I've never had sex in my life. But, um, <laughs> oh, besides that, I don't know. I'm apparently a representative here representing apricots, <laughs> cockco. <laughs> I have listened to blog about the wonderfulness of the apricots. God, my life is boring. <laughs> you always say you don't want to see how the sausage is made, but <laughs> politics is a far more drab thing than I realized. But you know, I have to end with the prune industry. Really? And I know young people like prunes. Being old people, I wasn't commenting on your race, creed, or color. Uh, race, you. color? What's the diff anyway? Back to color. Well, I think color would refer to melanin content, whereas race might refer to country of origin. I think you're on to something there. I'm an old man. I'm very educated. You know shit, don't you? Well, I've had many years to read things and watch lots of Discovery Channel. See, I'm from the everybody gets a trophy generation. I even got one. Go figure. What was it for? I don't even remember. All I know is they yanked me out of class. I was reading a copy of Harriet the Spry. They pinned something on my chest and said, You got a medal! Because everyone gets one. Stupid as fuck. <laughs> everyone shouldn't get a damn medal. You're right. I should have earned it. I never earned a damn thing in my life. Now I'm a politician of sort. Well, you're a bureaucrat. A political bureaucrat. A cog in a machine. <laughs> Worthless. You know, I came here to maybe help the Democrats or more of the, the disenfranchised Republicans who <laughs> don't know what the fuck's going on. But maybe we should begin our own party. The no one gets a medal party. <laughs> Unless they earn it. Even if they do, they don't get a medal. <laughs> I like that. Because they should know that the work is its own reward. <laughs> You'll never get that one past the liberals. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cookie at the end of every rainbow. <laughs> yeah, look, they've got a graphic up now. Let's see. There's the rainbow there. Oh, I've got well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, some in my lunchbox. Scooby Doo. Get the crap beat out of me every day for carrying my Scooby Doo lunchbox, so I'll be damned if I'm letting it go now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to violate any HR policies, but 
You've never had sex before in your life. No, <laughs> not ever once. It's one of those little facts that kind of flew by really fast, but it seemed really important. <laughs> but I've not had a ton of sex. Well, not lately. <laughs> no. I'm married. I've been married for 35 years. After the first seven, you start just watching Netflix. There's <laughs> <laughs> always the next episode, and the next episode, and the next episode, and then an answer you're still watching, of course you're still watching! <laughs> Actually, trust you. 
Can the FBI truly trust the CIA? Can the public ever actually trust either of us? Should they? <laughs> no. What kind of relationship can there be with no trust? Half the marriages in America? <laughs> <laughs> That's why Ashley Madison's doing so well. <laughs> I guess this is where we say goodbye. I'd really look forward to investigating you thoroughly. <laughs> I'd really look forward to a full report that I could pour over. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe another night, another place, in another episode, we'll meet again. I'd like that. <laughs> so would I. No badges this time. We'll just watch each other across a distant room. Wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Knowing we're watching each other. And watching each other watch each other. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're watching each other, yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Honey, I'm home. I brought a friend. I, I was watching out the window. They were parking the car. Oh, they're back. That's not. I hope they enjoyed whatever they were doing. Um, oh, come on in. Come on in. I'd like you to meet my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can grab a lunchbox here. Oh, well, you're a fetching, vivacious woman. I love that house coach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I haven't taken it off in 12 years. <laughs> I'm not lying. Shut up, you old coat. <laughs> so, you're the, like new the, young thing. <laughs> so you're the new young thing. You're the new young thing? The new one brought in here so we can flout you in front of me and make wild love while I watch you on the couch? <laughs> <laughs> this is more than I thought it would No, 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 let, let me explain. She gets a little excited sometimes. This is not that kind of thing, honey. Damn it. <laughs> Look, I just thought... Here, let me talk to her. You do that. Look, the thing is, he really likes you. He just wants a little more action. Action? Action he wants. Yeah, he just wants... He said he'd get me laid. Not with you. Don't get excited. <laughs> but we could send him across the street to the neighbor. This is not a... No, oh, look. I just... You watch people. You know what turns them on. <clears throat> what gets them excited is Ooh. she needs a little help in this area. For once, let your spying do some good and bring some love into the world. Well, okay. I don't mean to be preachy about it, but we're getting short on time. Commercial <laughs> <laughs> coming on. Listen. <laughs> Hold on, kid. <laughs> Jesus, your pants. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the fixed in go? I think the kid just needs to get rid of the glasses, get some contact lenses, and learn to dance. We can show him. Remember? We used to dance. Sure. Come on. Okay. Stand up. Take heed. All right. You want to romance somebody. It's a little difficult with the crutch. I think using it as a crutch, throw it aside, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a faith healer now? <laughs> Just right, do fine. it. <laughs> now you approach the lady. Right, hold on, I need to put my weight on you. <laughs> okay. If only we could have some romantic type music playing about now, would be nice. It would be nice. It would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, take off your glasses and watch how we do this. <laughs> Twenty again. <laughs> but no more spying, okay? From now on, the only person I'll be 